2019. I'm at BRS checking out their knives. I like said this was the Patrick. It could be the one, so y'all forgive me. Nice auto here. Very, very lightweight. F35 VN. Super recall. Very comfortable in hand. Nice stone wash on that blade. Nice meal work right there. Um, the Nomad, I think this one. I always like this one. Nice and comfortable on hand. Nice jumping up here. This is great action on this guy. It's a nice contrast with the black and red. The titanium S35 BN. Like how they left the blade sterile. Um, I'm drawing a blank already. Just, I'm getting tired. I love that blade shape. It's the first time I've seen this one. I've seen all the rest of them. I like that. Nice little mill puck clip. Very smooth. A nice uh, feel like oh, looks like brass or anode titanium. I'm not sure. Dipping is a little aggressive, but still like the knife. I'm gonna have to check it out. I like that Swift 6 to 10 to on this one, 9 to 10 to fan. And I always want to check out the Minuteman. We'll check out the cool looking one right here with this uh, crazy looking nano on it. Practically sharpie, not too there. Most of you would probably crazy. Nice, nice for ground. Still nice and thin. Ooh, this is smooth, smooth. Oh man, I like this a lot. Not to see how much I can get this one for. Easy access to the lock walk. Nice lock up. Feels good in the hand. If you choke up, it feels better, I feel. Back here, it just feels like I'm far away, and this spot right here doesn't feel that good in my fingers because of these uh, jimped area, but talk about a smooth knife. Absolutely. Yeah, let's see if I can even open it. Yeah, you can open it with a thumb. I thought somebody said you couldn't. Let's see, oh, you can see a little bit weak on this one, but you can still. Yeah, I like the attention in the detail. <coughs> and this is the all uh, black one, just the standard one. Yeah, I might have to pick one of these up if the price is right. All right, guys and girls. Oh, wait, one more straggler over here. Saw these on the bird shop channel. I'm gonna check this one out before. Just something different. Nice, like it. Just like I said, different. That little scoop right there is nice in there. Another good, good line. Uh, frame lock, got some, some, some things of traction. I still don't know how to feel about this part. Let's see if it's easy to flip like this. Yeah, I need to easy to flip like that. It's a smaller knife. Alright guys and girls, I'll see y'all next one. Poof! The VRS booth. Uh, I didn't see this table. This is their prototypes. They have a bigger thresher, uh, nice and slim. Very, look at that, very nice. They got a lot of stuff that I want really bad. Very smooth knives, excellent defense. This one, the uh, Overwatch is called? Overwatch, I, I will definitely be picking up one of these. Everybody follows me knows I love, you know, clip points, harpoons. That is beautiful, that's like all the like, actions on all these, it's so good. Even with that light blade, the wax out. They got, they got all kinds, they got pretty much any kind of combo to suit your needs. If you don't like the black blade, they have your stone wash. Is that a reversible part of clip? On the overwatches, it is. Yeah, there you go. And I like, I like a copper finish on there. Is that, is that really coming through right? A titanium finish. That's sick. Very sick. All right, I'm, I'm definitely going to get one of these. You got these pillars on both sides. Wow, this one has some recoil. Super hard coming out. Listen to that. Wow, that's that's put a smile on your face. Now this guy, what's this one called? 
This one's a proto. Don't know. This one is the, the smoothest knife I've felt all day, and I've handled a good bit of customs today. Look at this. That is just, it's sick. There's absolutely no resistance. That, that's a pretty wicked looking blade. It's a little big for me. Uh, for anybody who owns a Minuteman, there you go. You can see Minuteman's dwarf by definitely at least a four inch blade on that guy. Um, looks like a lightning strike on there. Titanium, very lightweight. No, no liners, I don't think. And it's liner lock. That's the only thing you have. But no, you have an inset liner right there. <laughs> we get some stuff out to you. And do you know the name of this guy? So, uh, it was the Bolt Lab with Les Gordy. Yeah, I knew, I knew the design cues. So, y'all heard that. Uh, this, this will probably be a popular one because Les is uh, pretty popular. And it's, it's a very lightweight holder, titanium with carbon fiber. I don't love the black clip, but you know, I don't know. I don't know if it would make a break. Super lightweight. Hey, we're sticking out though. Uh, nice flipper tab, comfortable, and of course a rocket top. Yeah. This will probably be a popular uh, model for him. This is another big folder. That's probably the most anticipated. This is me right here, though. <laughs> I mean, it just fits so well in the hand. I like how chunky it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick up one of these today for my channel to review. So. All right, guys and girls, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Prototype. It's, like the it's smaller than the one, the first one they had out. That blade looks like it's, it's bigger than the handle. That one's not Stupid smooth. You can flip it out, I think, like this. Oh, it's easier to middle finger flip that. Very comfortable. Because you have CC uh, scales. I think this is um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, Tavares, no, not, I don't know, I can't think of the name. But, there you go, just want to get, uh, get a look at it. Hey, which, who's this the maker? I forgot. Is it uh, I know it's a Navajo. Dervish? Yeah, Dervish, that's what it is. Dervish, Dervish Blades, uh, the Navajo. There you go, sorry I missed that one. I'll see y'all next week.